It's another beautiful day here in sunny Arizona. And this is my Baja. Um, I use a four-way tire iron to hold down the, the tire. You know, three-quarter. Then I've got a uh, three-quarter inch deep socket. And that's for the jack. Then I have a four to five lug adapter uh, in case somebody blows the tire and they only have four lug. I've been out there before and had that happen and you're out there trying to figure out how to pull the rubber off a tire and to put it on a four lug rim. I also carry a center hub. Uh, that's a type three hub. Um, you know, I don't carry a full drum. Some people carry a full drum. Keeping the car moving under its own power is pretty much more imperative than anything else, and that's including brakes. You can hammer off the, uh, the line and still keep the car moving on three, three wheels with brakes. So that's what I use. I've seen people blow the splines out. It's never been the axle. It's always been the hub. Um, just something small to, to carry around. It's only a couple extra pounds. Then we get to the meat of it. I've got my adjustment tool here. Got my jack. And then I've got my two toolboxes. My uh, two CV joints. Um, then I've got a first aid kit. Which I've got an ATC uh, jumper cable in. 10 feet long. I've seen people carry huge jumper cables. If, if you need to use them that often, then maybe you need to invest in a, uh, a battery. Then back here, you know, it's all about trying to find the small little nooks and crannies on a Baja Bug or, you know, that back on a Volkswagen Beetle period. They're not really made with a whole lot of storage. So, you know, I pick up these ammo cans at yard sales for like two to three dollars a piece. This one back here, this is my specialty tools. Um, got a voltmeter. You know, my tire plug kit. I've got my nylon thread and a shock time, you know, rubber gloves. These are kind of neat. You can pick these things up for about 50 cents to a quarter at a uh, yard sale. Um, I use these to keep my uh, tire plugs in. The black ones are for uh, radial tires and the uh, tan ones are for bias ply. Yeah, that are the, they're the other way around. Uh, I don't know, they seem to work. And then, too many times when, you, when people put their, put their cars together, they need to build specialty tools to do something or to install something and they put them in their toolbox and then they're out in the field and they have to work in that area and they can't. Um, both these are used on my motor 
so I don't have to remove something like the manifold or something so I can get in there. You know, I go ahead and throw those in and pan those in. Then I've got my brake, my drum brake adjusting tools. Um, I don't understand why some of these people leave this type of tool at home. Then I don't even use these. But I carry it with me because somebody eventually, when I'm riding with them, will have a CV will come loose. Um, small, it's a couple ounces, throw it in the ammo can and uh, be done with it. That way when you're out in the field, you can turn, you know, quick repair back into a quick repair. And... Uh, get on down the road instead of staring at it trying to figure out how you're going to get that CV bolt tight and some people carry the big allen wrenches I just use a regular uh, socket for the 17 millimeter bolt tightens up the two pivot bolts on the trailing arms you're going to be out there someone's going to have one back out and uh, that's a bad day. Those things are a real pain to get back in. Then these are my CV bolt. I use an Allen head. It's just what I prefer. Here's another thing that I've learned to carry with me. This is a cheap little Harbor Freight uh, file kit. Um, you know, I've rebuilt threads on bolts and tie rod ends and you know when your CV explodes sometimes it mars the uh, the splines on the axle and, you know you've got plenty of time when you're broke so I've seen people take the time file it down and repair their car and continue to move on down the road instead of a big ordeal to try to figure out how to get them out. I've carried these. Used to have, I think, four of them in there. Time to time, you'll shred a valve stem. Um, it's not too bad, not too big of a deal to pop a tire off the bead, slip this under and tighten it in, and you're good to go. Um, broke many of them. You know, for everything that I work on the car, you know, if I have to modify something or if I need a tool, um, just put it in the can for something else that's been a showstopper. Um, your throttle cable, this thing will eventually back out, drop off, drop down into the motor, drop into sand, you can't find it. Uh, out in the field, million dollars. At the store, 49 cents. Here's something else that I've seen a couple times fall off people's vehicles. Um, you know, I carry it with you. There's no other bolt on the, on the vehicle that... Uh, it's the same thread pattern so you're done if this comes out you're done so I carry this with me um, for myself and for other people that might need it you know just little simple stuff like that turns a uh, turns a small little setback into a quick easy repair but having it with you is probably the most important thing I've got bearings and other stuff that I've seen blow out on these cars that don't even fit in my vehicle but when you're out there 
get buggy and having a good time. And somebody's buggy goes down. It it's better that you just give them the part than to try to figure out how to import in a clip, a bearing, whatever you need. The other thing is my two specialty uh, toolboxes. I took some ammo cans. I looked. I saw that I had this area. What could I put there? Well, I came up with these. It's got all my socket wrenches, cheater bars. Whenever I work on the on this vehicle or any off-road vehicle. I tend to use what's in the ammo cans to make sure that I have the right tool with me. Uh, I've seen people, oh man, I must have put that wrench back in my uh, back in my big toolbox. Um, out, out in the field, the right wrench million dollars here in town a couple bucks here's another specialty tool um, this one's made for turning the motor over by the uh, harmonic balance pulley you know, if you got to do something like that you, you got to carry it with you and periodically I'll go through the ammo cans to make sure that I've got everything if you take it out, put it back. And then I've done is uh, looked at this area and saw that you know I could put something there. So I went ahead and I put my tray winch there it uses a class 2 receiver I can either pull from the front or the rear um, I've got the remote underneath the uh, passenger seat I got a cable inside my vehicle so that I can pull from the side if I need to the other thing that I did was is I extended the capacity of uh, the power steering reservoir um, I did that because when you go from a rack and pinion to a gearbox, it's more about the flow. And uh, these little power steering pumps aren't made to, to do that flow. So you take it apart, you pour everything out, you take the pressure relief spring and you stretch it so it increases your pressure. The other thing that I've come up with that seems to work extremely well is I uh, sandwich my CVs. They're already pre-greased. That keeps them from rusting if any uh, moisture gets in there. I mean, they are packed. Then you use a hole saw and you run a bolt through the center. These are actually tapped, so when I take the bolt out, the two stay together sandwiched um, you can put them outside the vehicle they they don't care they can get wet um, I carry two most of my vehicles I carry two CVs you know a lot of times I see people out there and the uh, their spare CV is questionable to begin with well, if I'm going to perform a repair on my vehicle, I want to do it the best that I can so that I don't get back to town and have to redo the repair. So I use brand new CVs. Um, I've got my boot right here. You know, just a convenient way to store it. Um, I don't use the, the strapping on the axle side. Actually, I lube the axle side so that the, the boot might spin when I blow a CV. Um, I take a lot of time and go through my CVs to make sure that uh, 
they're the best they can be because I really don't want to get back home or have a questionable CV blow again while I'm out there in the field. But that brings you down to the motor.